Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week we have three times money and RP on casino missions. And I'm going to show you two of those casino missions that spawn endless enemies. So these casino missions typically need at least two people. So you will have to pair up with at least one friend in order to start the mission. The very first one is housekeeping. And I'm just going to fast forward to the part where you spawn on the map. The best vehicle to use for this mission will be the Karen Karuma simply because it will protect you from all the aimbot NPCs. Of course, you can use any other vehicle, but just a friendly warning that these aimbots can melt your armor and health. So just choose wisely. So the first thing that you do when you actually spawn on the map on these bikes, just go collect your vehicle and prepare to engage all the enemies that will be coming. So my friend and I have each chosen an armored Karuma and the NPCs will start coming in once we exit the casino parking lot. And you can see right there that each kill gives you 94 RP and we're in a free aim session. So what you can do here is to keep killing the NPCs because they will keep coming and you will only stop receiving RP when you have killed a total of 150. So that is 150 NPCs for you and another 150 for your friend. And that will give you a total of about 14,000 RP, which is pretty decent. If at any one time the NPC stops spawning, all you have to do is just keep driving around until they spawn again. Once you stop receiving RP from all these kills, you can complete the mission and gain the additional RP at the end of the mission. So once you return the Thrax to the casino, you will have completed the mission. And with two people in the mission, you will roughly receive about 59,000 in cash and about an additional 14,000 in RP. So that's about 28,000 RP in one mission, which is a pretty good haul. All you need to do is to kill fast. Now the next casino mission in this series, which also has endless enemies, would be the very first one and that is Luz Cheng. I remember doing a video on this quite some time back, but since it's on 3 times money and RP again, I think it's worth highlighting again. Now if you have already done this mission before, you can actually skip the cutscene which I am going to do here, and it would load you directly into the mission. Once you load in, again the best vehicle for this is the armored Karuma, just to prevent yourself from dying multiple times. Make your way to the abandoned motel, and that's where the shooting starts. One thing that you will always notice in these missions is that enemies that are already placed in a location will give lesser RP than the NPCs who spawn later, which are chasing you. So when it's three times RP, you will see that you will either get 75 or 94 RP respectively. So in this mission, the NPCs at the abandoned motel will give you 75 RP, but the chaser NPCs that spawn later will give you 94. So once you're at the abandoned motel, all you have to do is to locate Tao Cheng, bring him to the vehicle, and start making your way back to the casino. And I'm just going to skip forward to that part. As you leave the abandoned motel, NPCs will start spawning. And from here, you'll see that once you kill them, instead of 75, you actually get 94 RP each. Again, you can kill up to 150 NPCs before you stop receiving RP from this. And this will give you about 14,000 RP in total just by killing NPCs. So once you stop receiving any more RP, just make your way back to the casino and finish the mission. So similar to the previous mission, Housekeeping, if you spent more than 15 minutes in this mission, the final reward will be about 59,000 in cash and approximately between 13 to 15,000 RP. So this is similar to the previous mission where you get about 28,000 RP in total. And so that's how you can make tons of RP this week. Not so much on the money though. And with that, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.